Color TV case, TV case. The Color TV case was a legal case against J. J. Lotha, the late chief minister of Tamil Nadu, a state in South India from 1991-1996. J. Lotha, her aide Sasakala Natarajan, and her ministerial colleague T. M. Salvaganapathy were charged with misusing their office. J. Lotha, Sasakala, and seven others were arrested and remanded to judicial custody on 7 December 1998. The case and charges sheet were filed during the Dravida Monetary Kajigam DMK government headed by M. Karyuninidhi in 1998. On 30 May 2000, J. Lalitha and Sasakala were acquitted while a lower court convicted Selvaganapathy and six others and sentenced them to five years of rigorous imprisonment with a fine of US$10,000. It was one of the first instances where an ex-chief minister was arrested and sent to jail and one of the earliest examples of the conviction of a member of parliament in a corruption case. Selvaganapathy was a member of parliament from the Turachingode constituency in Lok Sabha at the time of the verdict. The Madras High Court acquitted Jail Alpha and all others who were convicted in the case on 4 December 2001. Background Jail Alpha was an Indian politician and four time Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu from 1991 1996, 2002 6, 2011 14, and 2015 2016 from the All India and Adravada Munitra Kajigam Aid Party. During her first tenure as Chief Minister, there were irregularities about the purchase of 45,000 color television sets for village panchayats, which cost 10.16 crores, U.S. $2,090,000. The ruling DMK government, headed by Mufuval Karyuninity, filed a case in 1996 and a charge sheet in 1998. Jay Lalva was arrested on 7 December 1996 and was remanded to judicial custody in connection with the case. The investigation alleged that the amount acquired through the TV dealers was routed in the form of checks to a relative of Sasakala, who had quoted Jay Lalva's residence as her own. She had filed an anticipatory bail in the trial court earlier, which was rejected on 7 December 1996. Around 2,500 party men gathered around her residence to block her arrest, despite the cordon set by the Tamil Nadu police. On 14 May 1998, a special court framed charges against the 11 accused in the case, namely the following Jayalalatha, her aide Sasakala, the Rural Affairs Minister Selva Ganapathy, the Chief Secretary N. Haribaskar, the State Rural Development Secretary H. M. Pandey, the former Rural Development Director M. Satimur. The judge, Radhakrishnan, noted that there was enough evidence to frame the charges and dismissed the petition filed by Jayalalatha and seven others to acquit them from the case. The Criminal Intelligence Division CID of Tamil Nadu, which handled the case, argued that the purchase of 45,302 color television sets for Panchayat community centers across the state during the regime of Jayalalatha was corrupt. The judge framed charges under Indian Penal Code IPC Sections 120 of the Prevention of Corruption Act and Sections 109 and 409. The charge sheet quoted that the television sets were priced $14,500 against a market price of $12,247, creating a loss to the state exchequer. Baskaran, a relative of Sasakala, was later included in the case. Trial The trial of the case began in a special court on 28 December 1998. Around 80 witnesses from the prosecution side and two from the defense side were examined. The special court convicted seven of the nine accused of criminal conspiracy on 30 May 2000 under Section 120B of the Indian Penal Code and sentenced them to five years of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of US$10,000. The seven convicts were then Rural Affairs Minister Selvaganapathy, the Minister, Chief Secretary, and Haribaskar, State Rural Development Secretary H. M. Pandey, former Rural Development Director M. Sati Murthy, P. A. Jarnathanan, the Minister's P. A. and two contractors, 
Dore Sami, and Mafu Kumarasaman. The seven sentenced by the court were moved to Velour Central Prison that same evening. Jayalalatha, Sasakala, and Sasakala's relative Baskaran were acquitted, as the accusations against them were not proven beyond doubt. The judge stated in his verdict that a mess, Jayalalatha had no role in the conspiracy, even if it is presumed that there was violation of the financial code, it is not enough to show that she had participated in the conspiracy. Selvaganapathy, who was a member of parliament at the time of the verdict, was banned from parliament after the verdict. The state government appealed against the acquittal of Jail Alpha from the case. On 5 May 2000, the Supreme Court asked the High Court to give more time to Jail Alpha to examine the defense witness based on the special leave petition filed by her in the Supreme Court. The appeal of the state government was quashed by the Madras High Court on 21 August 2009. The court also acquitted the five-year sentence of the seven convicted by the lower court. Political Implications This case was one of the first incidents where an ex-chief minister was arrested and sent to jail. It was also one of the earliest instances of the conviction of a member of parliament in a corruption case, as Selvaganapathy was an MP in the Lok Sabha at the time of the verdict. While Jayalalpha was in jail for 30 days, her residence at Pose Gardens in Chennai was raided. Sun TV, a channel run by Karyunin and his nephew, was allowed to videotape the raid, creating a huge controversy. The channel showed large amounts of jewelry and personal assets of Jayalalatha, resulting in a wide political debate. Timeline 7 December 1996, the court rejected anticipatory bail, and Jayalalatha arrested in the case and was sent to judicial custody. 14 May 1998, charge sheet filed against Jayalalatha, Sasakala, the then Rural Affairs Minister Selvaganapathy, the then Chief Secretary and Harabaskar, the then State Rural Development Secretary H. M. Pandey, the then former Rural Development Director M. Satimurthy, P. A. Jarnathanan, the then Minister's Secretary. 28 December 1998, the trial of the case started in the Special Court. 5 May 2000, the Supreme Court asked the High Court to give Jail Alpha more time to examine the defense witness. 29 May 2000, Jail Alpha and Sasakala were acquitted, and the other seven received five years of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of $10,000. 21 August 2009, the High Court upheld the order of the lower court acquitting Jail Alpha.